right, I'm going to talk about a subject that I said I wouldn't talk about. And I'd like to say that I'm not siding on one side, but many people are going to claim that I am. There's nothing I can do about that. There was a commercial for always, uh, 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 what are they, maxi pads or something? Um, that was played during the Super Bowl called Like a Girl. The Amazing Atheist did a video regarding that, that I was just kind of disgusted by, actually. Normally I'm... Normally I'm on board with a lot of the stuff that he says. This video was not one of them. He completely ignored the points the video was trying to make. There is a phrase I'm going to be using a lot in this video that people are going to dislike the fact that I'm using it all. Tough shit. If there was another phrase that I could use that would be more descriptive of how it is in this country versus, let's say, in the Middle East, I would use it. But right now there isn't another word, so I have to use the words we have available. The patriarchy. The patriarchy negatively affects everyone. It affects men and women just about as bad as each other. I'm going to just say it affects men and women equally. Equally negatively. Most of the stuff that the MRAs talk about, that guys are expected to be is a part of the patriarchy. The things that women, most of the things that women complain about what they are supposed to be is part of the patriarchy. They are these standards that we have on ourselves based on our gender, on our sex. Men are expected to be these, the breadwinners. They're expected to buy women things. They're expected to be the protectors. They're expected to be the ones that are more physical, hard work physical. They're expected to be the ones to play the sports, to be into to, uh, engines on automobiles. They're expected to try to be badasses. They're expected to die for the country. These things are all part of the patriarchy. They are standards that we put on the different sexes. And it's bullshit. There's a whole nother list of those things. I've only went into a little bit of it for guys. Women are expected to be docile. They're expected to be controllable. They're expected to not be aggressive in their opinions. They're expected to be weak. The fact that that commercial that that's in question it, it described things really, really well. It's one of the best things to describe these issues than than any commercial I've seen, even though it was an actual commercial. You can make fun of a guy by telling him he's being like a girl, but you compliment a woman by telling her she's being like a guy. 
If it's not necessarily a compliment, it's certainly not a way to degrade them. Unless you're trying to degrade their appearance or something like that. And that's pretty fucked up. There's something I mentioned. I, I, I just feel this is kind of important to mention, even though it doesn't fully, fully relate, but it kind of does. Women are taught to be judgmental on appearance towards themselves and other women. Gay men are taught to be judgmental towards themselves and other gay men. Straight men are taught to be judgmental towards women and not themselves. And lesbians don't seem to be judgmental in a lot of ways in those areas. Except for some of the ones that are really, truly extremists, radical feminists. And you'll have either some good examples of that. But for the most part, it's kind of weird. Lesbians seem to be the group that is the least judgmental on those types of things, on, on appearance. Well, I guess even some of the, uh, the extremist rad femmes are not judgmental on appearance when they're the lesbians. But neither here nor there. Um... When it comes to the things that the Amazing Atheist talked about, women live longer, women nowadays are getting more education than men, more women are graduating from high school than their male counterparts, and this is because of these unrealistic standards that guys put on themselves for the whole badass thing. I guess I won't call it unrealistic standards. Just these standards where guys are supposed to be badasses. They're supposed to be this rugged thing. They're supposed to... There are these standards. And then when guys feel they can't meet those standards, these toxic ideas of masculinity... Some of them kill themselves. Women are taught to have a toxic idea of femininity, but it doesn't end up making them kill themselves as much as the toxic ideas of masculinity make guys kill themselves. All of this stuff is part of the patriarchy. All of it. And it makes it rather frustrating when trying to talk about this subject with MRAs, because they don't even want to acknowledge the existence of this. They just want to complain about their side, their problems on their side. They don't even want to acknowledge the problems that women are going through. And then a lot of the feminists don't want to acknowledge the problems that guys are going through. They don't want to acknowledge how the patriarchy negatively affects guys. There are some that do. And you know what really, really sucks about it? Do you know what sucks so badly about it? Is that one of the few well-known, infamous feminists that does speak about it, that has spoken about it, is someone that carries themselves so terribly, so horribly, that nobody listens, is Big Red. That's what sucks. That sucks bad. Just do me a favor, okay? Watch the entire video of Big Red going off on these people. And actually listen to what she's saying instead of how she says it. And you'll hear her trying to say some of the same stuff. She's so frustrated. She's going about it all wrong, and she seems kind of hateful, but if you actually listen to the words she's saying, 
besides shut the fuck up and let me finish then you'll actually realize what she's trying to say I very very much sympathize with what MRAs talk about I very much sympathize with what the feminists talk about if we if we could all come together on this stuff and actually speak against the patriarchy we could all be doing better but that doesn't seem like that's going to happen the MRAs are not allowing the conversation to occur because they refuse to acknowledge the patriarchy and that's very frustrating and many of the feminists are not acknowledging how the patriarchy negatively affects men that is very frustrating both sides suck again the fact that we can say well maybe not again maybe this is one of the previous versions of the video but the fact that to call a guy a girl is an insult but to call a girl a guy is either not really it's not an insult or it's even a compliment speaks volumes volumes there's something very wrong with that and for you to deny that for anyone to deny how messed up that is is to stick your head in the sand. 